welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm a little bit sick, getting over a little cold, so sorry if I sound a little weird. Um, so today I am, I've had these for quite a while and I have not opened them yet, so I'm so excited to try these. I really want to do a set with Amethyst. I think it's so pretty, but I've had these patty gels for quite a few months now and I'm going to swatch them and then at the end of this video I'm going to do a quick little nail set. Uh, it's gonna be my first one on this video minus two shorts that I've posted already that aren't that good. Don't go watch them. <laughs> um, but yeah so we're gonna swatch these finally and we'll get into it. I think I'm gonna go I don't know if I'm gonna swatch clear. I made a stick for it, but I mean, it's clear. We'll, uh, we'll probably swatch it. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. I'll save clear for last. And then let's do marshmallow first. So we got marshmallow right here. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. They're eating. <laughs> I might end up having to voice over this. Okay, so it is a 30 milliliter patty gel by Long Hair Pretty Nails. Um, yeah, so that's what that looks like. I probably should have gloves, but I don't have any, so, oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, that's a mess, okay. Oh, the shadows are really bad. Oh, I don't have my, oops. I didn't have flash on. <laughs> okay, hopefully soon I can get a better filming setup. Sorry for this mess, I, I'm clumsy. I'm not very good with, um, oh look at this color, with poly gel yet. I usually just use like the, the glue gel from um, McCart and I do full cover tips and then paint them. Um, I did one set, which is the only set I have not posted a picture of on my Instagram since I started doing my nails. I did a quick set for my my little cousin's birthday party in July. The beginning of July was the last time I did my nails. It's been so long. I've just been so busy. Lots of stuff going on. I think we need a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I used, I had never just worked with poly gel on nails. So I tried dual forms. It was a Beatles kit. It was like a whole kit from Beatles. It had the, the poly gel, the dual forms. It came with the slip solution and it was a complete disaster, especially cause I'm still not that good at filing my nails either. Ugh. They, I mean, they looked cute. I just did solid pink, but um, yeah, they popped off. They were all off by the end of the day. It was, it was bad. <laughs> So I really wanna use this and I'm not gonna do dual forms and I'm not gonna do full cover tips. I'm gonna use um, like the half tips. I don't know how much, that looks really thin right here. See, this is my problem is I don't know how much to use. This is also why I haven't tried acrylic yet either because I, I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use on this set today, I'm going to use um, just like the tips because I'm also bad with cuticle work as well. So I'd rather form, try and f <laughs> try and form the gel around my cuticles and uh, hope that would turn out a little bit better. All right, well, this is good enough for a swatch. I don't want to use too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. Oh my gosh, I'm so messy. <laughs> okay, this is cured now, let's see. Yeah, see, I need to do a little bit better application, but this is just a swatch, so that's all right. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, you can see that spot right here. Okay, well, pay attention. I 
and then this is okay yeah it's sticky so i'll have to wipe that i'll have to try to remember now let's do pink nude i love this packaging as well oh my goodness look at that oh it's so pretty i want to get all of the colors eventually i think i'm only missing oh god i got two three four i got five so i think i'm missing probably about half a little more than half okay this is the pink nude and that is this stick Oh, see, I have quite a few ideas for using Patty Gel for some nail sets. I also have some Timu Poly Gel that I got a while ago before I started my channel. I always see people do that, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I got some Timu Poly Gel that I would like to try. I can't remember if they're glow ones or not. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a set with those. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I need to figure this out. Um, I'll probably swatch those in a video coming up soon. Um, I got so much stuff from Timu that I really wish I would have started this YouTube channel back when I started getting into nails because I would have had <laughs> so many haul videos. But I don't think I'm going to be... Oh, this one turned out a lot better than that white. I think I just needed to get back into the groove of things. Like I said, it's been since July since I've done my nails. So, um, yeah. I'm going to stop talking. I feel like I'm talking a lot. So we're just going to finish this up. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? It's just a swatch stick. This could all be fixed on a nail during filing. It's driving me crazy. Is this too far or should I film zoomed in more? I'm not sure. Okay, let me cure that. Okay, I zoomed in on this. I feel like that makes it look a little bit cleaner. You don't see that big old spill anymore. Okay, so here is the pink nude. If it would focus, please. I can't really see because my background is pink. Hello, is it going to focus? Um, okay, I don't know why it's not focusing. It's focusing down there. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, here's the pink nude. And then we're gonna do ruby. See, it feels like it's too close now. Okay. This red looks so pretty. Why will you not focus? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, this color is gonna be, well, let's see. I'm gonna say Christmas, but actually this might also work for a, oh, oh my gosh. Focus. This is so pretty. <gasps> It's not even focusing zoomed out. All right, well, here's the ruby stick. Let's get it going. Oh, this one feels really sticky. Okay, look at that color. Oh my gosh, this would be really good for a Halloween set. And Christmas, oh my gosh. Oh, this is, oh, this one is so Super sticky. Oh my gosh. Um, is it supposed to do that? Uh, okay. 
Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen if I... Let's just get a lot of alcohol with that. So for my slip solution, I am using, I'm not using a, oh, this is so sticky. Oh man. Did I do something wrong? My brush. I don't know. Um, so for slip solution, I am using 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I found it to be better uh, when I was doing the dual form set back in July, I used the slip solution that came with the kit and it was not fun at all. I didn't like the consistency of it. I don't know what they used in it because it doesn't feel like this. And then halfway through that set, I realized I had, I think I had 70 or 50% isopropyl and I decided to try that and it was so much better. So I went and I bought 91%, just, I don't know why, I probably really didn't have to do that, but, I mean, it's like a dollar, a dollar general, so I was just like, whatever, I'll show you which one I got here in a second. This is so pretty, but look at my brush, I don't know how to get that out now, uh, and I don't have another pot, oh my gosh, this color, I hope this focuses, please, look at I'm like in love with this. Why is it so sticky? That actually, it, it applied really good too. I mean, I'm missing a little spot here, but like, I'm just gonna cure that. But yeah, I don't know how to clean my brush out now. I've never seen this happen. I've never saw, oh my gosh, oh no. I've never saw this happen to anybody in any of the hundreds of videos I've watched. Um, I think I'm just gonna grab, well here, I think I'm just gonna grab a alcohol wipe. Maybe that will work, but um, this is the alcohol that I'm using for my slip solution. Just Rexall brand from Dollar General, um, 91%. I think it was a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna save my favorite for last, which is the amethyst. Oh yeah, I gotta try and clean this brush now. I don't know if this, I'm gonna use one of these alcohol, I don't know. I think I bought these to do a wipe after the set is done. I don't know if this is gonna take off. I probably shouldn't be pulling on my brush like this. It's okay. This is just... I'm gonna have to get myself a couple more poly gel brushes if this ends up being the way that I go. Um, oh yeah, that's coming off. Okay, awesome. I really want to get Evie's... Evie? Evie? Oh, I don't even know how to say it. I'm silly. Um, I don't... I want to get her brush as well. Um, that purple and blue ombre brush on her site. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So I think with my next order, whenever that may be, I'm going to get that brush. Maybe two, I don't know. Okay, so let's do the clear next. This video is probably gonna be really long. I hope I'm not talking you guys' ear off. <laughs> okay, so now we got the clear. So this, I think I'm going to use this one in the nail set. What I'm imagining, I don't know if I'm going to do it this way, but I think I'm going to encapsulate some glitter on an accent finger. Some glitter and um, you'll see. I have an idea. I hope it turns out how I'm imagining it, because nothing ever does. Alright, here's the clear. I hope this is focused. I'm trying to see. I hope this isn't as sticky as the red. Oh, this felt good. That is definitely not as sticky as the red. Okay, 
what time is it? Okay, I still got a little bit of time. So I have to go pick up my son here soon. Oh, this feels sticky too. Oh, what in the world? What did I do? The first two went so well. I have to go pick up my son from preschool soon. So while I'm doing the nails, unless if I wait until tomorrow, because I do have to work at some point today too. Um, why is this like this? What did I do? Did I just have this gel for too long? I didn't really think, I mean, it's only been a couple months and I never opened it. You saw me, I opened the package in this video. So I don't know why this would be so sticky like this. If anyone knows, please let me know down in the comments. Um, oh, I still got some red glitter flakes. I'm not sure what's going on with this. I gotta stop hitting my phone too. This doesn't look good at all. I don't know if this is a me thing. I highly doubt it's the gel. I think it's me. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Um, did I have too much alcohol on my brush or not enough? I don't know what happened with this one. The other ones look great. Let's just add a little bit more. Oh, this one's gonna be a mess. Oh, oh why, do, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's all the times I saw the freaking when I would get my nails done at the nail salon many years ago. You know, they're doing acrylic though, not gel. And they'd always you know, tap their brush, you know. I'm sure most of you know acrylics. I'm sure everybody does. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it's just after watching them for so long do my nails when I was younger I don't know what's going on with this clear this does not look good at all um yeah if anyone can tell me what I did wrong here I I mean none of these other ones even this red one it was super sticky and this turned out really well. I don't know what's going on with this clear. I don't know what I did. Um, I'm just gonna cure it and close that up. Maybe I won't be encapsulating anything today. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Oh, I'm ripping this paper up. Okay, I switched my thingy. <laughs> it was starting to get so messy. Of course, then I made more of a mess. Oh, nice. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is how that turned out. Uh, absolutely horrible. I don't know what I did. I'm kind of really sad because I was excited to try encapsulating stuff. I'm not getting all sticky now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I hope the purple... If the purple does the same thing, if this amethyst does the same thing, I'm going to be super sad. Because this is, this is the party. This is the main thing that I, the main color that I want to use on this nail set. Here's my little swatch stick. Open it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Green. Please. Please. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. That went on very nicely. Okay. Should I? All right. Let's see here. Should I zoom it in? I, I don't know if I should be zoomed in. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. Look at that color. Oh yeah, this feels so much better than that clear. What was wrong? Is clear just really finicky? I don't remember anyone ever saying anything about clear being finicky but look at this purple oh my goodness oh oh this 
is gonna be so good. I did it a little thin, but look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is mm, mm. chef's kiss. That is beautiful. Uh, oh, this set's gonna be nice. I'm so excited to do it. So this set, it's going to be simple. I'm hoping it's going to come out spooky-ish. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. I absolutely, I'm going to get like six of this color. No, not really. But, um, oh my gosh. I love this. But, okay, yeah, so it's now one o'clock. I have to leave in 15 minutes to get my son, so. So here are the swatches, one more time. We got marshmallow, amethyst, oops, uh, ruby, pink nude, and the clear that I messed up very badly. Um, yeah, so I don't know how the encapsulation is going to go that I really wanted to do. I might skip that. So I'm going to... I'm not going to do a lot of prep. Uh, I want them to stay, but I also don't want them to pop off right away. So I'm not going to use the Jello Jello. I do have that. I'm not going to use it today. I'm just going to slightly push back my cuticles and buff. So I am going to be using the... Una Jella, Una, Una, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce things. <laughs> uh, these are nail tips. I have already sized them. These are the ones that fit me best. So we need a two. Yeah, so this one fits pretty good. It fits the best. So one. Uh, four, four, two, four. So uh, I, I buffed my nails and I used some isopropyl alcohol. Um, I, I forgot to hit record when I did that. Uh, so I'm also, I'm gonna go in with this Model Ones dehydrator. I don't know how people do their nails like this. And then I am gonna go in with Sprites, a uh, Model One's nail primer. I think I'm supposed to do this. It's been a while. Like I said, I normally use full cover tips, so I really need something to balance my hand on while I do this. So it's not all the way down. Oops, I'm sorry, that was out of frame. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and put the tips on. I am going to use this little mini LeCarte nail glue. Gonna cut it, right? <laughs> baby down. Hopefully I can get it straight. There's always that one nail that ends up being crooked. I just get glue on the tip. Oh my goodness. That looks crooked, huh?
hello? Why are we not sticking? Did I grab the wrong side? Is it this one? Okay, let's try this one. This one seems too big. Oh, that's like touching my skin. This is already a disaster. Oh my gosh. Did I do something wrong? I think I got it. Alright. I don't know what happened there. What is the issue? Oh my gosh, I don't understand. I'm gonna be so sticky after this glue all over my fingers. I have not had this many issues before. And again, I have not used full cover tips. I mean, these tips, not full cover. I always use full cover, not these ones. So I probably should have done something different in my first video like this. That's not a haul. Okay, I hope this was the pinky one. I didn't even double check. Okay, I think we are pretty good, as good as it's honestly going to get. I don't know how anybody goes around with their nails this long. I would love to, but I just can't. So I'm going to cut them down. Mm, I want them pretty short, honestly. So I am using the magnet trick. This is the length of what I normally use. I think I might go a tad bit longer. Um. Maybe one magnet longer. See, I can't even pick these up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see how long is this. Um, yeah, let's do it. Boop. Actually, I don't know. It's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to type with that. I don't know. <laughs> be finding those pieces forever. This is pretty long. 
Look how long that pinky is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take this magnet off. Okay. Let's cut. Just like, oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, I'll fix that up. With mama scissors. Am I doing this the right way? I'm probably not even using this the right way, you guys. I'm pretty... Can you tell I am not skilled at all? It's about the name. So I normally use, I put them in a different container. Alyssa, Alyssa Short Coffin. These are like the perfect size for me, lengthwise. Um, I don't remember what number I am, but I was trying to go for about, yeah, it's about the same length as that. I just need to fix up this thumbnail. I think I'm just gonna keep them square, to be honest. I don't know how to do shapes. Okay. So I got my 91% alcohol in here. I got my amethyst patty gel. Do I buff these again? I think I buff these again. Oh, well first I'm going to um, buff this down just a little bit into my natural nail. I think I'm doing some of these steps backwards, you guys. I'm sorry. Don't, I'm not teaching you. I'm just doing my nails with you, that's all. <laughs> okay, so I probably should be using an eval for this too. So I'll get there eventually. So I see we buff this down so it's kind of flush with our natural nail I believe is why this is done I'm not doing a very good job but that's why I'm here I want to show you that I am a complete and total noob doing this kind of thing and I was very nervous to start even just doing my nails not even starting a YouTube channel I mean I was nervous to do that but I was nervous to start doing my nails because I didn't want them to look bad, but you know, things gotta look bad before you can make it look good, right? You gotta practice. And I figured I would show on YouTube that you can do anything you put your mind to. That's cheesy, but I want to show people that this can be done. Look at my technique. I'm so bad at this. We'll get better though. We'll get better together. I should be using an Evo probably. That thing scares the crap out of me though. Okay. Oh yeah, and I, I cut the thumbnail a little bit. It looks a little bit better, but it'll once I file at the end, it should be better. Okay, let's dust this off. And I'm going to use some um, ice purple. I have to leave in about a half hour to pick up my son, so if I can at least get the gel on before I go. Application's not that good. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the dehydrator again. I'm probably doing too much, you guys. You know who I really like to watch do nails? I watch so many people, but I love watching, um, I, be I believe you pronounce it Junail. She does ASMR nail videos and they're just, oh, I love them so much. She does such a good job. I would love to make ASMR videos. I know I mentioned that, I think in the first video that I did, but my house is just way too noisy. 
and I usually only get about two hours, only three days a week to be able to do this. And it's hot, so I have my fan going. You'll probably hear that. Um, yeah, it's just a lot. So <clears throat> we're doing this. All right, first time doing gel like this. Let's go. I don't know how much to use. I don't want them to be too thin. I don't want it to be too thick, but I guess it's better thick than thin, right? Let's get some alcohol. And let's start. Oh, this color is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. I hope to use acrylic one day sooner rather than later, but you know, I need some more. Seems pretty thin. But then again, see the good thing about this poly gel is I can mess with it as long as I want, and it's not gonna set until I stick it in that lamp. This looks clumpy, and again, I do think it's also just the nail shape. I do really need to file. I should try the lazy girl method next. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, just a little bit. Oh, that's gonna make it really thick. Okay, that's all right. Like I said, we can always file it down. I guess you could always add more too, huh? Can you add more after you cure? I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit. Okay, I think this is looking good enough for me. It looks like it's too thick here and not thick enough. I feel like it needs to be pushed down just a little bit. Right, because you don't want it thick at the tip of your nail, you want it thick down here at the apex. All right, this is looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna cure that before I mess it up anymore. Okay, so I cured for two minutes. I think it's good. I think I'm gonna wipe it with some alcohol because it is sticky, obviously. My thumb is pretty sticky itself. Um, and I have dogs and cats, and I don't want fur. I've had fur get stuck in my nails before, which is very unfortunate. Okay, next nail. Why does that keep? <laughs> I'm not trying to pull away from there. I need more product there. I think I'm going to have to squeeze just a little bit more. This one is looking a bit thick. That's okay. I think this is looking pretty good. Everything looks covered. Oh no. 
Uh, I'm gonna be picking my kiddo up from the preschool with like three nails done. Alright. They're gonna be some thick nails. I also gotta go shopping after I pick him up too, so it's gonna be interesting. Looks like <laughs> looks like dog nails. I mean that looks pretty good though. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, this one's all cured and wiped. I'm I have 15 minutes to do three more nails, so we're gonna try and go fast. Is the coat supposed to be thinner like that? Maybe that actually looks pretty good. Let me just even this just a bit. Kind of looks like a jelly polish in a way. Instead of super thick like this one. This one is so thick. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be fun to file. I probably am going to have to use my e-file for this. And I don't have a dust collector yet, unfortunately. And I thought about going outside and doing it, but I just have a plug-in. I think they make portable ones, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, I have one that requires it to be plugged in, so I can't even take it outside. All right, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more right around my cuticle. That's actually a lot more than I wanted to add, but oh boy, too much. That's okay. I just want to have this stuff laid so I can get out the door here in a couple minutes. Here's that one. That actually looks really good. It's not super thick like this one. Or this one's pretty thick. This one's not too bad. This one is thick. <laughs> okay. Ten minutes before I gotta go. Let's get it going. it down to the cuticle first and then pull it up maybe this will make it you learn with each nail I feel like each nail generally for me at least actually each nail either gets better Okay, this actually looks really good. I'm liking this. It's kind of jelly-like. It's not super thick. I don't know though. I think it might <clears throat> need a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. This is a learning set for me. And I am on a time limit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, there's that one done. This one actually, I really like how this one looks. It's pretty good compared to that. <laughs> uh, okay, last one, last one. I gotta leave in about five minutes. So this is such a tiny nail, so I should not need that much. All right, let's go. This is looking pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cure that, maybe. Okay, this is what we have right now. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> it's 
so goofy looking. Okay, I can't wait. To oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. Well, we are going to file these later. These, look I got from using this. That's why I switched uh, to this monster can. And it's really pretty, huh? Um, yeah, so these ones definitely look the best. But it's okay. Hopefully I can figure out my nail file enough to fix this. I gotta run though. Get some shopping done with these <laughs> thick nails. And I will be back to finish them. Bye! Hi everyone! Uh, so this is gonna be a voiceover part of the video. Uh, it was very loud in my house. Um, so I went to Marshall's, I believe, and I found these glass nail files. I've been wanting a set of these. Um, yeah, so I'm just opening these up and yeah. Um, I cut down a lot since this video did get pretty long. So here I'm just attempting to use my e-file to fix those thick nails. Um, but I ended up just, you know, doing it off camera. So they're looking a little better. I mean, that pointer is still pretty thick, but, you know. It looks a lot better than what it did. Um, so... The thumb looks pretty good too. And now I'm just gonna go in and I guess do a little bit of cuticle work. I really don't know what I'm doing with this, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna mess around. Okay, and that's all done now. So I'm going to top coat. Um, I noticed when I was top coating with this, does this sound smell like, it's the McCart No Wipe top coat and it came with a base coat in the set. Um, it smelled like burning, hair or something I, it had such a weird smell to it it was the first time i've used it but look at that oh again i'm so sorry i had the flash on i didn't even realize that it makes it look completely different with flash and sparkles uh but at the end i do post a outside picture i think and i also put a little clip on instagram of them outside as well so I'm just top coating this and I believe after this I'm going to show my other hand. I did that off camera and it actually turned out a hundred times better than my right hand. Look at that. Beautiful. I already found this one too. Um, they look really, they look really good. I'm super proud of actually doing my left hand. Um, so now we're just going to decorate them. I'm just going to put a bunch of stickers all over them and make them spooky. Um, yeah, so I'll let you watch this for now and I'll pop back in if I have anything else to say. The bat stickers that I just used are, those were from Amazon. If they're still available, I'll link them in the description. And then these stickers are from Timu. Um, that first that first drip one that I picked up started to rip. So I don't know, I was probably being a little bit too rough with it cause it did start to rip. So I had to grab a different one, but um, yeah, super cute. That nail is still so thick. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think the spider web rips, no. Yeah. 
If you stayed around for this whole video, shout out to you. Thank you so much. I, it was so long. I wanted to edit it down a lot more, but um, I just wanted whoever watches this video to see that I struggle too. Um, and to not be scared to just, just practice. I was super scared to start doing this. I didn't want to mess it up. You know, I didn't want them to look bad. I've already gotten compliments on these and they're not even perfect. So yeah um just have fun with it that's what i'm doing i can't wait to see what my next set's gonna turn out like baba i need you come here don't bump me no okay tap on the sticker a little bit more press it down your nails are dirty. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. You helped me. What is felt? You're what it felt like. What's it feel like? Oh, uh, we pulled a we pulled a fingertip off. Oops. Uh oh. Where? Right there. Oh no. Oh no. Is it right there? Oh no. Can we fix it? Oh. Yeah. This is gonna be hard to do with my left hand. <laughs> I hope you. No. Just don't bump me. Ooh. Nice. So these turned out so cute. Now for my left, my right hand, I didn't top coat. I just filed them and wiped them. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, on the stickiness and here they are all finished um i think they turned out so good especially for my first time i'm super proud of them i think they're really cute uh thank you guys so much for watching this especially if you stuck around to this end uh please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one